Thank you very much. Welcome to California. Gene, let me jump, let me jump around in the middle here. Now, this is weird. It's McFadden and Whitehead, but it's Whitehead and McFadden. Do you guys always stand in the opposite well, direction? the way you say it, it comes out, right? Are you trying to confuse the troops out there? <laughs> no. I, I thought the way I would set this up as fellow Philadelphians, I'd have you down and out, struggling, and then I look at the gold chains and the clothes, <laughs> and then I looked at the list of... Holy mackerel. How many songs have you written in your lives? Uh, about 50. For whom have you written songs? Listen, listen to this list of people. The OJs, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, Teddy Pendergrass, Lou Rawls, the Jackson Five, Melba Moore. Stop, stop, stop. That's, that's enough. That's enough. Couldn't get anybody to record your stuff, huh? No. Now, was it out of desperation or were you always songwriters? No, we, were, we became songwriters in 72, but we always wanted to sing since 67, but we were sidetracked. Well, I mean, didn't, didn't you run around all of the world with Otis Redding at one point? Yes, we did, and then uh, when he died, that's when we came back to Philadelphia and put ourselves in the hands of Gamble and Huff. All right, to become stars in front, right? Hey. And nothing happened. nothing happened. Nothing happened. Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff failed again, right? No, they didn't <laughs> fail. No, they, they figured we needed more training. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to go back to Philadelphia. They're going to be after me. No, so they had you running around there in, in that factory where they turn out great music, all that Philadelphia International stuff. But you didn't have any hits on your own. Why? No. Uh, really, all our time was taken for our other artists. Uh, we were uh, signed exclusively with our publishing company, Mighty Three. And that obligates us to write for Teddy Pendergrass, the OJs, uh, and who's ever affiliated with our company. All right, you got, you got the magic touch. Now you got a hit on your own. The next time you guys come up with a gem and you say, wow, that's a hit, are you going to be greedy and keep it for yourselves? Whoever's time to record, we'll record that record on that particular person. If it's us, we'll get it. If it's Teddy Pendergrass, he'll get it. The OJs or whoever else. We don't. It's hold. really the way it works. That's the way it works. May God bless you, gentlemen. May Have God much long success. Please do another one, all right? McFadden and Whitehead, ladies and gentlemen.